Man, one story set the F1 world ablaze. It was not just the biggest F1 story. It was not even just the biggest sports story. It was the biggest news story. story. Even here, Lewis friggin' Hamilton going to Scuderia friggin' Ferrari. What do you think of that? I couldn't. I. Th- you think it's a joke, right? You see, <laughs> people look quick with the like with the photoshops. You're like, oh, yep. that looks funny yep. and weird. Yep. Here we go. This is a good. Li- and I love ha ha breaking. Yeah, very yeah. funny. That beam isn't overused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you then you see so you a couple of tweets about it. And you're like, oh, no, nah, probably. Mm. And then you get it from someone real that you're like, oh, I believe that person. Like, oh, it's a Luke Smith talking about it. He's yes, I met him. Exactly. He's right. He's works at the athletic. I mean, <laughs> he's a not. real person, not AI. Uh, this must be real. Is is this motorsport? Is this motorsport the the joke side or is this the real motorsport? That I'm reporting this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I couldn't. In some ways, feel? it came from nowhere. In some ways, there were leaks of rumors and whispers last year, but it was all put down to like, yeah, he's just trying to get more money, he's trying to get more money out of Mercedes. And this is all just scuttlebutt. And there's always scuttlebutt, but it wasn't. No, it was real. What do you think his motivation is, Rod? Like, why? Let's let's get into the deep, like the deepness of it. Obviously, Mercedes <laughs> aren't happy about it, and they they'll be scrambling to find the next guy. Which is the mean, thing. Why? You say Mercedes aren't happy about it. Mm. How, how, many, how many more years do you think that they might have got out of Lewis? Oh, I mean, how old is he now? Yeah, I reckon probably two, maybe, yeah, a couple more, maybe, before he... Couple, he exactly. No, no more than more, a right? couple more, right? Yeah, that gets you to maybe Lewis, 2026, though, the new standards, all that kind maybe, of stuff. But, but maybe, but maybe not. And mm. Lewis wants big bucks. He wants big bucks the now. Biggest. He wants big bucks after he retires. He wants, mm. I mean, huge bucks. He wants <laughs> five bedroom terraces in London, not two. Yeah, like he wants, that's true. he wants mega, mega dollar. Now Ferrari have got deep pockets enough that they can do that. Mercedes, mm-hmm. I think, like everyone was like, oh man, Mercedes really shit the bed by letting Lewis go. I'm not sure. I think this was a pretty 50-50 thing for them. And if he stayed, great. But if he left, they're like, look at the billions of dollars we just saved. Yeah, I think Mercedes are like, we're also a, a business with shareholders and a board and all this kind of stuff. Not to say Ferrari isn't that, but I think Ferrari also has like pot of money over here that is called <laughs> play money that Shell yeah. and BMI give them. And they're like, cool. So this is the, all the play money you can have to make the cars go fast or whatever. Yeah. Make them really red. Um, yeah. I also think that this is a, it, the, it's the call of the red car. I mean, I sound like Will Buxton. There's a bit of that. Right? But there, I think that if you're going to make a change and there's an offer to do, or there's a way to do it, I think Lewis must have just been like, God, I've been at Mercedes my whole bloody life, it feels like. <laughs> Basically. Is it, I've done it all now. Is it time to go and just try it somewhere else? And, and it's a risk. I'll always have that. But he's making that, he's taking that risk as a seven time world champion. It's not yeah. like he's never won one. It's not like he's like, this is like my best shot is at Mercedes, so I have to stay for as long as possible. He's exactly. like, I might get one, but I also might not. And if I'm maybe not going to get one, I may as well maybe not get one at Ferrari, yeah, the most prestigious Ferrari. team on the grid. Yeah. That's my take yeah. on it. I suppose you get to live in a nice part of Italy if you wanted to as well. I mean, there's a loads of things that will go into that contract around like how much do that? he has to do. I don't think he's going to. No, he just keep living in Monaco, I suppose. He'll be on his private jet straight back to Monaco or to LA or wherever he's going. Smaller flight from yeah, yeah Emilia Romagna to Monaco. <laughs> just down the road, really. Get the train if you wanted to. <laughs> just drive down there, I guess. Uh, um, yeah, I, I don't, there's so much good speculation we can do. And this is the, with distance, I think this makes sense, but I do want to live in the, the Lewis to Ferrari thing a little longer because it never, I think one of the big reasons it felt so crazy is it just never felt like it would happen. Like, yeah. I think it's the kind of thing you talk like that's classic pub chat. I was like, yeah, but like, I mean, what would be really cool? Could you imagine Lewis at Ferrari? <laughs> never. Like I could have imagined him at like, like Aston Martin before that you know, or even Red Bull before Ferrari. I don't know what it was, but Ferrari has felt like just the complete opposite of, mm. of his career and Mercedes in every single way. I um, think it's partly because Ferrari have incredible resources to draw from. Mm. Hamilton has incredible talent to draw from. But I feel like everybody thought the two just would never mix. Yeah. Because... I mean, it's going to cost so much money, but also when the car could be that good, then mm. any driver could make it good. When Lewis is that good, he can make any car good. So you don't need, they don't need each other that much. Yeah. yeah. But it turns out this isn't a move based on need. It's a move based on want. 
Yeah, and at some point, I suppose if you are like it's it's like it's, it's a bit of main character energy, right? Like Ferrari being like, no, no, <laughs> huge, we can go and get the character. We energy, can yeah. we can go and get the best guy. Like if he's around, yeah. we're we are the other team, even though we never win anything we're actually the like the daddies of the sport here um <laughs> and then people really want to be here and with us it's yeah i suppose that was it right that it it was just like i don't, I don't know i try to think about it in other sports or other parts of the world where it's just like no we're just going to go and get the best guy um i feel like fred besser has been um from all reports um like basically he's maxing out his credit card and <laughs> trying to buy that team trying to like I guess replicate that team that Ferrari put together in the late late nineties. The yeah. dream team. Just get the best people. Get, get doesn't matter what you have to pay. Go and get the best of everybody yeah. that you can. Yeah, and he's hoping work, right? that that will be a big investment that will set them up for years worth of success. I'm sure that's what he is. I'm sure that's the vision that he's sort of offered them. We're, we're not interested yeah. in winning one. We want to win five. Well, yeah, and it's the only way to like you have to completely course correct, right? That gap analysis of like, well, if we just keep going the way we are, you just will just continually coming second, <laughs> yeah. third, and fourth. Like there is no, like yeah, every now and again you win one, so yay, yeah, cool, cool for you. Um, but at some point, yeah, don't you want to just be the once again the like this is the, it, we are absolute excellence, and it's really the only thing we do as well. Like Ferrari, this is our pinnacle, and. That's what I've always found so crazy about Ferrari in these in this kind of whilst we've been doing this podcast is that the teams that have been dominating are like this isn't even our main thing. This is like <laughs> this is your main thing. Like this is all you really do, yeah. and you still aren't winning. And we like we're Mercedes. We are a massive car company, and that's really our main job. But when we run this formula, and we're constantly talking about how maybe we don't want to do this anymore, <laughs> but we've still got all the best people. <laughs> and then you've got a drinks company over here that's like we just do this for marketing. Um, but some seemingly we keep finding all the best people and keep making all the best stuff. And then there's Ferrari, the furniture, but this mm, is all yeah. you focus on. So yeah, I think it'd be, I suppose it's a costly vision for Fred to put in there, but at the same time, it's the only way to go and do it. And maybe there's lots of people like Lewis who would be like, all right, I've done my time at these other teams. I want to go work at the, at, at Ferrari now. And um, mm. yeah, it's a pretty cool place. I think if so, it's a pretty good dream to sell. What do you think of this take? This was my favorite line on it, which was that it's a reverse Schumacher because Schumacher won a heap of championships at Ferrari mm -hmm. and then went for the last few years of his career to Mercedes and Hamilton's done the reverse. Doing the other way. Ooh, I like it. The reverse Shuey. I think we need to take the Shuey idea <laughs> the away Shoei. from from Daniel Ricciardo and put, a, <laughs> put some, put some, some uh, grandiosity back into that. Does that mean if it's the reverse Shuey, the reverse Schumacher, because Schumacher also like got the Mercedes team going in a way that paved the way for the <laughs> next guys to come in and win all the world championships. Who's the guy behind Lewis that's going to come into Ferrari? Is that's going to be like, is it? Sh Charles already there. Charles the it's Rosberg. Someone, Maybe he'll get one. one, one championship. He's going to step in and do the reverse Hamilton, and then. <laughs> Yeah, so who's oh won God. one championship that's on the grid? Is there anyone no left? One. No one. That's the thing. There's no one left. The one is a gone. There's there's but, a tour in Alonso, but he's not going to drive till he's fifty. Uh, so basically, one one right. People who watch Formula One now are like Fernando Alonso won a world championship. That's crazy. When was that? It's like before you were born. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was that long ago. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This sports been around for so long. Too apologetic. Yeah. I. Do, how do you think it will go? Do you think that it's going to like if you we're the best thing about it is we get to speculate about it all year. Yeah, like I also year. that's that's bizarre, right? Why do that? Why announce it a year out? Is it just for the drama? Did did Formula One management get involved in like if you could do that so we can have a year of speculation about who's gonna get what <laughs> drives, that'd be so good. Or oh so we can well, sneak it into drive to survive for this season. One theory that I heard that I thought was really good was that by announcing it, everybody now knows Lewis is going to Ferrari from next year. Are you an engineer? Are you a strategist? Are you an aerodynamicist? Yeah. Come and work with Lewis at Ferrari. Uh, what I also heard, though, that contradicts that is that there's a clause that there's like a, no, a non-poaching clause, whatever you call that. I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. This will shock people. It's shock waves in the F1 community. Rod, not a lawyer. <laughs> also not a but, lawyer. Um, there's some, there's some anti-poaching thing. Like, he can announce it, but that doesn't mean that the team can go and steal everybody. I don't, I don't know. No, no, because so you're still going to have a gap between the year that you were working there. And I suppose you could, you could say, I suppose that Ferrari could go and grab some people who were like, well, if you just 
quit today <laughs> and then we can have you in a year's time that would be quite good well, but this yeah, is a long-term I mean. they project. serve the gardening lead. that's yeah. yeah exactly yeah um, but it'll be a long-term project i think you're right i think that fred's got his eyes on a let's get the best guy let's get all the best people mm. and build this team up for the next bit the you know maybe it is the the oscar piastri's of the world yeah. or the <laughs> maybe exactly. Charlotte, uh, you know it'll be that's the thing i, I can see max going there before lewis always I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he did it so hard at Red Bull, and then they've finally come good. I feel like he's there to, to like wrestle as much as he can out of that. But I do agree that if Red Bull like lose the plot, he will lose. He will leave. Like he will oh, just one hundred one eighty degree on his heels and leave. Like he's that kind of guy. But what if they, so with the Christian Horner stuff, maybe that does go sideways, and maybe uh, Red Bull do lose the plot, and maybe Max is like, "Well, there is that drive well, at Mercedes. Is. You know, <laughs> there is that. There is that cool drive." there um they got to sort a million things out at mercedes this season before anyway. we move away from this one yeah, though please. what about yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. signs where to for signs poor carlos right but i think he's I mean, talk about talk about the hipster the the hipster choice right you speak to anybody who in and around formula and they're like actually carlos <laughs> signs is the fastest driver you'll ever see he's actually the best yeah. and everyone's but and then the rest of the f1 world is like but charles leclerc though <laughs> we all like him because he looked <laughs> like that. um he absolutely shafted. I love that Fred Vassar was like, oh, this was such a hard call to make. And I can just imagine. How it's not a hard call. That's, that's literally it. It's oh, no, the it's easiest right. no, possible call. Actually calling Carlos would have been a hard oh, call. Oh, the phone call. That's the actual phone call. <laughs> um, you know, while he's on holiday, and be like, hey, by the way, you will never believe it. Lewis Hamilton's coming. And oh, yeah. that's so exciting. Yeah. But I mean, how we only have two yeah. seats uh, at the table. Yeah. Everybody who's going to be car. driving for Ferrari that year, step forward. Carlos, where are you going? <laughs> Not you, Carlos. <laughs> um, where is he going to go? Because does anybody else think that he's that amazing, or is he is he a? I don't like. Before where? I think before the last couple of years, probably not. But I feel like his stint at Ferrari has actually served him pretty well in that regard. Yeah, I think so too. Are Red Bull yeah. going to want him? I don't think so. But maybe Mercedes. I don't know. I, I'm just. I just. There's something, this is the dumbest rationalization for it, but Welcome the straight the driver swaps are so boring. Uh, I feel like people really won't do it because it's too, it's too, too cringe. Bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it also makes it seem like the team who's getting the other guy didn't have any like creativity yeah. or control over the deal. They're like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I no, no, we, we always wanted Carlos. Him that's why yeah. we let Actually, Lewis that's why go. we did it. Yeah, <laughs> we think yeah. Carlos is... The, that's that's, that's the press conference. We're like, we think Carlos has got great pedigree. He'll be a great What a masterful play we made. On George... Um, George Punchable Russell. Um, <laughs> the, it's it's all it's all coming together really. That was the plan the whole time. No, I mean there's talk of him. Maybe he's the Audi guy, right? Maybe he's he'll just be yeah. Off. But like that's the, that's long -term the problem play. is he's got that one year before Audi come in and he has to leave. So what does he do? Because you know what he should do: go win win the World Rally Championship like his father before him, and then we'll see who's the senior out of. The <laughs> <laughs> Who's the senior now, Dad? We'll see who's who's Dad. Yeah, <laughs> who is Dad? I'm carving the turkey at Christmas. Um, do they have that in Galicia? Is that where he's from? Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel bad for Carlos as much as you can feel bad for any Ferrari <laughs> driver, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure of course, he's not you can feel bad. So People much. feel bad for for Charles Leclerc all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Poor Charles Leclerc. Yeah, um, Charles Leclerc. he's going to get rinsed by Lewis as well. That's rough. I think Lewis is going to be really fast. Do I believe that? Yeah, I actually do. I think this is the well. I mean, the yeah, thing is, Lewis—it's it's the end of Lewis's career. This is the twilight of his career, right? But for Charles Leclerc, he's what mid-career at worst. At so worst. this is going to make or break Late him, right? Son, but yeah. Yeah, this is because if, if he doesn't measure up, then he's mm. screwed. But I suppose he's seen off challenges before, right? Like he's had people come into Sebastian the team. Mattel. Yeah, exactly. I could have beaten Sebastian Mattel in that period of his career. Um, he, you know, it was so bad for him. He went completely. He changed his whole persona. <laughs> he became a new person. He was humbled, <laughs> and then he became like. It was so bad. He grew a beard, <laughs> and, and his hair long. It was so weird. Still weird. He um, has bees now. Because there was a bit of playful chat around that, right? That you could get Sebastian Vettel into the Mercedes for a it season was. between between seasons. That'd He's be a real, that. that's a real blow to the rest of the Formula One grid. <laughs> I think when stuff like this happens, that you look at this and you go, ah, hmm. well, we'll just either switch them around or we'll keep that's them out of for a little bit longer. Or we could get Rosberg back. There's also that. And Nico Rosberg He said no. Drifting. But I mean. Did anyone ask? I yeah, mean. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting everyone know, 
taking myself out of the game. Take me yeah. off the chessboard. I know that this is the hottest uh, topic in F1 right know. now, but I won't be returning. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, who's bought his face? Um, Pastor Maldonado, he's out. He, he said he didn't <laughs> want to do it. Daniel Kvyat as well. He was like, <laughs> not available. Don't worry about it. No one can reach Kimi Kimi Everyone, Kimi. No one's heard from Kimi in a long time. <laughs> we don't no. even know where Kimi is. But I mean, of, of all the drivers though, who I think could come out and do do a job, Kimi's probably it. Maybe um, I don't know. I I think it's going to be great for the West. It's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to see him in that red race suit. I can't wait to see how um, like a well drilled, well done Ferrari is the best thing in i think in, yeah. in formula one and if we could get a genuine like three or four three or four three or four <laughs> horse race at the front that would just be incredible you know what a great way to finish off this kind of this period of formula one yeah to have them actually duking it out what a thing to tune in for and what a great way for lewis to to wrap up his career oh god a ferrari championship really stick it to red bull there. let alone have a championship great. just driving there yeah just driving there He's going to be so annoyed, though. Oh, the radio calls are going to be excellent. Like, I know there's been a lot of memes about that. Like, we're on plan D. And he'll be like, what? Fuck you. I'm not coming in. Um, but I don't know. Maybe he's maybe this is also the right time. Like, maybe he's become really... I think he's become more mature and stuff. And I think that the last season and a half hasn't really gone to plan. And I think he's really become like, okay, well, I need to give really good feedback and, like, help evolve and, and help the team become better. And you can't just complain. Not say he's just done. I don't know him personally, right? But you don't. I think it'd be good for. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, upon reflection, I don't have his phone on my WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, I think he'll be. Maybe look. You can't say that it'll. You know, like past times when people look on a fry and really help them clean up their act. But maybe it will be. There are parts of me that thinks that it'll blow up as well because maybe Shah will really hate it. Maybe people won't want to work with Lewis Hamilton in that way. I don't know. Do you have, like, if I'm being pretty positive about it, do you think, do you think he is, by the time he joins, is he the jewel in the crown that will then give them that extra, like, 10% to, to get them a championship? I think what would be interesting to see is whether he settles for, mm. like you say, getting that boulder rolling so that he has enough momentum after he leaves for success for the team. Whether he, I, I, I'm not sure that he is motivated by that. Um, mm. It'll be interesting to see, I think, how the Hamilton fans react because I think for a while it was like at Team LH, Mercedes for life. Yeah, now, got the Mercedes sudden, tattoo. I think Ferrari is just a different vibe. And I'm not sure that the LH vibe and the Mercedes and the Ferrari vibe gel 100 percent, but mm. i mean this is also to a degree i think completely uncharted waters that we haven't seen the whole time i've been watching formula one with this kind of dream scenario it's just never happened it used way. to happen all the time right or it felt like when you look back through the annals of formula one history it would be you know that i think we even talked about this maybe with the box of neutral guys that we were like this doesn't really happen that you the best driver at one team and where they're winning yeah. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. moves to one of the other amazing teams and it did seem to you know, in days of yore that it would be like, all right. And then there was more changing, like obviously there were periods of dominance, but you would see some more changes like that, but it it's become a much more stable sport, I suppose. One more question I'd like to pose just if we're going to keep talking about Ferrari. And then we'll wrap it up that, after that. Yeah. 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 Um, what does this say now about Ferrari's ability to go and find talent themselves? Because they haven't had a, like a, a racer that they have kind of uncovered on their own mm. maybe you could say Charles Leclerc I suppose but who like they haven't had a guy right everybody yeah. else has come from through somebody else's program has been through something yeah. different like they're, they're not always just well, like well, we don't need to because I mean they've got a driver program mm. and Charles Leclerc went through that and was promoted so I mean yep. he's a success yep. the, the same way that he is all the, the Red Bull drivers were yeah but all, all of them said, successes <laughs> That said, all of the success that they've had in winning championships and stuff, they always just bought the best driver off the shelf. Yeah. So the shelf. there's that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder about that. I suppose they're not a huge outfit, right? I mean, they are in Formula One, but as like as far as an entity in all of racing goes, there are other 
reasons for like Red Bull to have a big mm. program is because they're in they want to be in all the sports for advertising. Yeah. And Mercedes is like, well, we have a, we've got cars in every level of every sport around, so we see we know where all these guys are. Valid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, good luck we're to excited. Lewis. I think that's where we're at. Can we can we be excited all season? It's very weird. <laughs> it's a very weird situation. I think the thing I'm not excited gonna... for is Lewis and Mercedes this season. <laughs> I've got oh. no interest in this whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. What do you think this means for George Russell then? Do you? Like, this is not on the plan. But like, what do you think that now it's George's team and he's like, I'm oh, I, I am mean, the number one driver now. I would like to see Lewis uh, ask whether he could pit ahead of Mercedes <laughs> or like Lewis or whether like, oh, could Russell give me a toe for qualifying? I wouldn't. I I, I don't, don't see anything like it. that happening. So no. there's going to be a year of that. No, he's going to go to the radio and there'll be no one on the other side because they've already been moved over to Ferrari or they're on guarding leave. <laughs> Is it guys? Oh, the, guys? No, he's well, changing just, his own tires. Why don't you go and ask your Italian friends? 